we are going to apply again uh, Newton's uh, second law for rotational motion or circular motion uh, for the case of the airplane. And uh, let me just uh, tell you about airplane, how, what are the forces acting on an airplane in general when it is flying. Uh, the airplane is flying horizontally. We have uh, forces. We have uh, what we call FG. FG is always uh, vertically down. That's the weight of the, of the airplane. Uh, since this airplane is horizontally moving, it means there is another force vertically up, which is equal to FG and keeping the airplane at, let's say, 3,000 meters, uh, moving at 3,000 meters above the ground. Okay? So the, the other force here will be F. We call it the lift force. Okay? So this is FG downward, F lift. This is the lift force, which is keeping the airplane uh, flying horizontally. Now we have also what is called here the thrust of the engine. Of course, the thrust is coming from the engines. Eh? So the engines are uh, uh, producing this thrust. And we have also here what we call the drag force. The drag force, the air, or we call it the air resistance. Okay? These are the forces acting on the airplane when it is moving vert ver uh, horizontally at constant speed, let's say uh, 900 kilometers per hour or something like that. Okay? Now, uh, you must have noticed that the airplane, when it reaches uh, the city, sometimes the pilot make this maneuver, something like this. By the way, this is, a, this is so called the side of view, okay? Side of view, you are looking at the airplane moving and these are the forces. This is the front of view where the airplane is, is coming to you. We, we draw the same forces. FG will be down and FL will be upward, okay? And these two forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, okay? And this, they will keep the airplane at a certain height or a certain elevation and moving uh, horizontally. Now, the, when, the, when, 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 the, when the pilot reaches uh, uh, the city you, you must, you, or, the, or the airport, you notice sometimes it, he makes this maneuver here, okay? And that maneuver, he tilts the airplane in this direction or in this, di in, in this direction. The reason for that is that he wants to rotate, to make a turn, a circular turn. Because maybe he, he passed uh, the, uh, the airport and he wants to come back, okay, to land, okay? So he makes this maneuver, he raises the airplane like this with an angle theta. And this angle is very important for him. It, it's a, it is a specific angle, okay? Now assume that the, the airplane has a speed of 133.3 meter per second, okay? And the angle theta is 40 degrees. And we want to know what is the radius of this rotation. That, uh, of course, now he's going to rotate about a certain uh, point here. We call it the center of the rotation. Okay, okay. So he will rotate in this direction. Okay, or in this. If this is the front of the airplane, the, the airplane, uh, the, the pilot will rotate in this direction and come back uh, uh, to another direction. Okay. Let's. Uh, why he does this? Let me tell you why he does this. Because in this position like this, horizontally, he, uh, if he wants to rotate, he cannot rotate because he doesn't have a component of a force toward the center. Because when you apply Newton's second law for circular motion, we say F net force toward the center, R equal to mv squared over, over R. So in this case, he doesn't have a component of that force. So when he does this, this maneuver, you see FL is here, okay? And FG, of course, is vertically down. There's no problem with FG. This force here will have a component now. It has a component along this axis and a component along this axis here. Okay? And this angle theta appears here again. So this component here will be FL uh, cosine theta. And this component, which is opposite to the angle, will be FL sine theta. So this component, which is FL sine theta, will help him make the, ro the, 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 the turn. This is a component of the force which is going to help him make the turn because it is toward the center. You can see it. 
So we have a component now of a force toward the center, which will help him make the turn. So let's write a, write a Newton second law now. Eh? We have the y-axis and we have the x-axis here. And this is the center of my rotation. It has a, this has a radius r, the radius of the my, my rotation. And in this example, he is look, he's looking for the radius of the circle that he will make with this speed and with, with this uh, angle, that, uh, uh, the angle, the inclination angle of the airplane, OK? So let's apply Newton's second law. Let's, uh, uh, along the y-axis, what are the forces along the y-axis? Let's, let's write them down. We have FL cosine theta, which is up, minus FG. And this, there is no acceleration along the y-axis. And this should be equal to 0, OK? All right. Now, along the x-axis, OK, let's write the forces. Of course, we have to write FL sine theta. And there is no other force along the x-axis. This should be equal to MAC, where AC is also toward the center in the positive direction. So we have to put a plus sign here, OK? So I'm going to change this here. I'm going to change this to equal, to the equal sign here. And I'm going to divide, I'm going to call this equation 1, equation 2. So I'm going to do 1 over 2, OK, divide the two equation. When I divide it, the, the FL will cancel. And we end up with here 10 theta, which is sine theta divided by cosine theta, OK? Equal, M will cancel. It will be A. C over G, but we know what is AC, is V squared over R G. Okay? Now, we, we know the angle theta here. We know V, it's here, and we know G 9.8, so the question is to find the radius of this circular path, okay? Of the, the airplane is going to move in a circle, okay? Circular path. So R in this problem will be uh, V squared over G 10 theta. Okay, let's put the numbers there. 133.3 squared over 9.8 times 1040 degrees. And this will give you an answer of 2200 meter or 2.2 kilometers. So with this numbers here, with this speed and this angle here, the, the circular path will have a radius of 2.2 kilometers. Of course, you can play with this number, with the circular path, by changing V and the angle inclination angle. So it depends. The pilot, he knows how much he has to incline himself, the angle theta of the inclination, which will affect uh, the radius. So the radius is affected by two two uh, quantities, the angle theta and the speed, OK, of the airplane. So the answer here will be 2.2 uh, kilometers. The radius of this path, of the circular path, is 2.2 kilometers.